send my manager and people to search for the, the nicest, most beautiful places. And um, those places um, may be difficult to do, may be much harder to play than other places. Um, they may not make as much money, but you know, I would rather we did something where people go home afterwards and for years they think, well, that was fantastic. I was there in that beautiful spot. And it, um, it changes their memory. It turns it into something greater. There are many different themes um, within it, but um, I, there's not one that unifies everything. My, I mean, the sound of my voice and the sound of my guitar playing is what unifies everything. Um, there are songs about protest, there are songs about people, about relationships, people who've gone. Um, there's, there's, a, there's all sorts on there, but um, somehow I find that without deliberately trying to make a theme for the album, there's one that sits within it that you can't quite pin down. Now, I, I work mostly on my own um, and with Polly, my wife, um, when we get to... Um, I mean, I, I play the songs the, when they are just tunes with a melody to Polly as I'm making them, and then, you know, she will come up with words at a certain point and we will do all that. Uh, and other musicians tend to come into the process a little later on. music has been my life. Um, you know, I joined Pink Floyd when I was 21. Um, I'm, I don't know if it still exists or what, what the name of a, a label that ties three people together, what that exactly means. But um, no, I mean, the music, the great music that we did together is still a fantastic thing, is still a part of my life. I'm, you know, some of the words that Roger wrote can't be beaten, you know, they're brilliant. And um, I'm thrilled to still be being able to sing them and, and, and play that music.